Aristi has a training vid for CV? Yes. I showed okay. him some basics of playing CV. And common mistakes. And common mistakes that most newbie carrier players make. Mm hmm. I forgot them all. My god, Arisha. That is not helping the situation. Also, you're all being recorded as we speak. I see. <laughs> Kuma? I'm disabling my AA. Okay. Kuma? Kuma? Poi? <laughs> what is going on? Trash is going on. I see. Mm -hmm. Anything else you would like to point out? Yes. Arthur Doyle, I want you to demonstrate the reverse straight. So basically straight in the exact opposite direction that you are traveling in on me. Roger that. You will probably end up with more plane kills than I have by the end of this training video. So I'm better than you? Yes, you are better than me. So do I just drive towards the middle? Uh, yeah, just drive towards the middle. We will have a secondary battle by the end of this. Yay. Alright then, Doyle. In a standard engagement, let's say that the enemy CV is doing this. Okay, I'm gonna chase that one fighter that you have. And then your job is to try to strafe behind. Um, Let's see. We can have a... It went. It oh, triggered it. Well, then it didn't work. I got too close to you. Too I let close you get then. Too close. Okay, then let's try that again. Try with a full health squadron because strafing is very determinant on how much health your planes and your squadron have. Oh, I'm chasing the one in B cap with my double pair. Still wasn't it's like, I know, it's like. It's hard to get it to work, right? Because I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still trying to learn it. That's okay, then this is good practice, then. Do you want me to dem to try demonstrating it? Because I haven't really had that much practice with it either, but it has worked out for me in the past. There we go. That looks good. Alright, then. So maybe not in pursuant kind of case, but... Uh, actually, no. Why didn't I rearm that? <laughs> actually, yeah, try to demonstrate it again. So, approximate distance you want to engage is around half the screen size. So let me try to engage. So try running, make it look like you're trying to run away. And then straight from behind, basically. I think I might be too close again. Hold on. Yeah, let's engage. that's what I did. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. That was executed yeah, effectively. Yeah, I just that shit. Like, that's... <laughs> um... You won't win the engagement, likely. I'm no, curious. because you had... I'm curious on whether you will, but this this kind of strafe will actually cause you to lose air supremacy if the enemy carrier had additional squadrons. And then watch, you can do the same shit with bombers too, and just instantly turn them around. Wow, I lost that so badly, what the hell. I haven't tried it with dive bombers actually. Oh, oh they don't do it that quickly. Oh, they do it pretty quickly. Um, in my experience, at least. It's Let not me... as fast as I like. I see. Well then, that was a good demonstration. Good job, Doyle. What other demonstration okay. would you like? Um... Because I need to actually demonstrate from my screen the uh, snappy of the bombers, yeah. Because otherwise the viewer can't really see it. Alright then, so... And it will be good practice for the both of us. So traditionally what would happen is if you would, if you had to readjust one of your bombers, 
and you readjusted it right as it was entering the uh, lock-in circle, it would do that stupid loop-de-loop. But mm -hmm. now that isn't the case. I saw Sometimes it's still all stupid to the loop. Traditionally, if you are if you are too close to the engagement circle, it will do the loop. So that snapback that I just showed on the video should be sufficient. I'm not sure though. Let me try that again. No, I wasn't able to successfully do that. Alright, so let's try that again. Alright then, Dora, let me try to demonstrate the backward strafe like you demonstrated. Alright then, a pair of two should be sufficient. Which one do I chase? Uh, um, I'll go for the southern one. I'll get the southern one? Huh, you're right, it does actually take practice to do it. Yeah. Okay, let me try that again. You're too close. You're far away enough. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Although mine wasn't as good as yours. I took down less planes than you did. You took down RNG. five. <laughs> RNG Jesus. Perhaps it was RNG Jesus. Perhaps it was something else. I don't know. But I think that was a little bit sloppy because. Let me try that again. Hold on. You're chasing the same fighter, by the way. Let's see. That's a. Uh, I think that's a little bit too close. Okay, that that's a perfect distance. Yeah, I see. Okay. Took them four that time. Thank you, Doyle. Mm -hmm. Alright then. Um, when you do the reverse strafe, is it... Do you feel like it's responsive? Because the plane does very noticeably slow down when it does it. I mean, it's like... I don't know, I've gotten, I've caught people off guard with them. You can tag a couple planes, but it's like... I would, I would recommend that you do it if they're chasing you and you have another squadron on the other side, because he's gonna yeah. try dodging your strafe with your, the squadron he's chasing, so you can use the other squadron to actually try strafing them simultaneously. I'm gonna try something, if I can do it sideways, yeah. Alright then. Yeah, it goes if it's to the side as well. That's it's good. like that, that rear 180 degree, uh... Portion, I guess. Okay. Let's see. What now? Oh! You should try to demonstrate how to cheese strafes and strike aircraft. Hmm? You should demonstrate how to cheese strafes and strike aircraft. Ah. Uh, if you're willing to do that. Um, I gotta get stuff up there. Okay. We already have your dive bombers up. We can just demonstrate with dive bombers. It's so fast. <laughs> mm, yes. That is true, so I might have to be fully loaded for that to be the case.